talk about the last ride. It has been a phenomenal five-part WWE Network series on the end of the career of The Undertaker. You've been on your last walk since the mid-90s, but that's a different story for a different time. Do you think this is it? The Undertaker hinted in the final episode he has no interest to get back into the squared circle. Do you think he's done after having a quote-unquote movie-style cinematic match at WrestleMania 36 against AJ Styles in a, a, a boneyard match? in a farm of some kind. Do you think this is it for the big dead man? I know you've not got to know him quite a bit when you had your last run managing Mike Henry from 2008 to 2010 as he was on the SmackDown brand. That's a hard one. Yeah. Because see, Undertaker is the most respected wrestler among the wrestlers that I ever met. Mm -hmm. He's a perfect gentleman, great guy, great athlete, and he's loved all over by the fans. There is a thing, it's hard for great athletes to do. I always felt that Tom Brady this year should have retired. Mm -hmm. When Muhammad Ali won the belt from uh, George Foreman, a lot of people felt that he should have retired. Mm -hmm. If you can leave a great sport on top, take advantage. One thing so he don't need the money. He enjoys entertaining people. Is his job? He loves it. My biggest fear: he gonna go down one day, ain't gonna get back up. He's not a young man no more. Man. He's been injured a lot, a lot of injuries. I mean, they had to tape him up. If somebody comes to the dress room before he put all his tights and everything. And look at him, he look like the mummy. There'll come a time in everybody's life when you have to realize that's it. You know? And I would like to see him get out of there. Now, this is just my opinion. I ain't going to say what he should do. He's a full grown man, he know what he should do. But I tell you this, the business still need him. I mean, the company still need him, the fans still want to see him. He got a big, big decision. It's not an easy decision for him to make. You know, so so he must have wrestled with that decision many, many, many times. But with the coronavirus, I think he picked the right time to do it. There was no WrestleMania last year, and I'm pretty sure there's not going to be one this coming year. You think in 2021 it won't they take place either, either, really? Because we, as a nation, refuse to do what it takes to get to show. We, as a nation, is out in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. And most people feel that to swim to shore or to swim to the boat is a violation of our constitutional right. So we rather drown in salty water than to swim to land or to swim to safety. And as long as this type of personality is floating around the country, they're gonna take us longer, longer to get out of the situation that, that, that we had. My brother told me he was a Vietnam vet. Thank, thank, I want to thank him and all the veterans, not only from Vietnam, but everywhere else. If the politician had stayed out of the war, my brother said they could have won that war in months. We went to Iraq, went to Afghanistan, the politicians got involved. 20 years later, we stayed there because they don't let the military do what the military know how to do. When you let people, when you work together as a whole and do what needs to be necessary to do. My mother used to always say, if you do something right the first time, you don't never have to worry about doing it again if you do it right the first time around. Now, Undertaker got an opportunity now to leave out on top. And he still could be a part of the business. You know, he still could do autograph signing. I mean, but he'd be the most valuable guy in autographs. Oh, sure. I mean, who got on Undertaker autograph? I mean, I, I would say less than 100 people got his autograph. I saw the line for him to sign autograph. And plus, more of it by him return would do his fans more good by return than by staying. Because if he stayed, they would never get to meet him in person if he stayed. If he leave, People that never got the opportunity to meet him would meet him. 
don't you think once, whether it's WrestleMania next year or whenever, in-ring professional wrestling returns with live crowds, don't you think there's a lot of money for both him and WWE to have an announced official retirement match at, say, WrestleMania? Why? Well, I mean, do you think, would, would you want your final match to be something taped in a farm in the middle of Florida? It or would you not care? Well, it don't matter Is to it about him. the pay? It, to him, it, yeah. see, it's like Elvis. He's Elvis. He made his mark. Mm -hmm. Nothing he's going to do going to be greater than what he did. How are you going to talk what he did? He beat some of the greatest wrestlers this world on the scene. He outdrew Andy Rock. Like Drew Bledsoe. I mean, not Drew Bledsoe, but Tom Brady. What more could Tom Brady do? Than what he already did. Sometimes you have to learn when to let it go and move beside, let younger people take build their reputation. He could do a lot. People would get to see him. You know, I watched how the people still laugh at him. I was there with you. You know, I would have WrestleCon. Yeah. They was lined up. The well, that block. was Steve Austin you're talking about. Well, Steve Austin yeah. was there, but not take him. I, I'm there. He didn't do WrestleCon. He was at, oh, he was at one of the other ones you did in New York. Yeah, I, know, I wasn't yeah, with you for that one. Yeah. I, I went to see him myself, and I couldn't believe, I couldn't believe the crowd. The and audience. for big money, buck big fifty, money. buck fifty. Yeah, people, two hundred dollars for his autograph. That's what it was, too. Two hundred dollars oh, wow. for Undertaker autograph. People were paying two hundred dollars just for him to sign a piece of paper. But but that is because how often you going to see this man in purpose? This man been isolated. In by the, the WWE. The, the people WWE, want to meet him. Well, they isolate him yeah. so that only them can make money off him. They isolate him from the fans. Well, he signed a I mean, at many times, at many times that they went to WrestleMania, in order for them to meet Undertaker, they had to go to a non-WWE show. Yeah. A non-WWE show. But as long as they go to a WWE show, they're only going to see Undertaker in the ring nowhere else. They're never going to shake his hand. They're never going to take a picture of him. They're never going to get within 10 feet of him in a WWE show. But at, but by him not being with the WWE, they could take a picture with him. They could talk to him. They could get close to him. They could really get up close and personal with a person they supported for 20, for 30 years. So it'd be, it'd be best for him, health-wise, and it be brother for the fans. All they Vince gonna do is keep him away from them, so he can keep him isolated. With Vince, you gotta pay Vince a lot of money to see him. Right. See. Well, so for for the fans, for Undertaker, I hope he do retire. He's not gonna do anything that's gonna make him greater. The reason is he don't have the opponents. There aren't a lot of dream gonna, opponents left. Who the You're right hell about that. Are going to wrestle to make him? They're going to be greater than Hulk Hogan and the people he wrestled in the past. Who? There ain't nobody. He's going to. They're going to put it away. The they don't have that type talent no more. Vince made sure of that. He got rid of everything that was worth anything. Well, I have to say, maybe I'm being selfish, but because of my longtime relationship with Paul Bear, I'd like to see him have one more match, Not one me. more farewell. Not well, me. we disagree. That's what if all. he goes there? If he's healthy enough to what, do it. What if he goes there and don't get back up? Then you're going to say, oh, I wish he had retired. He's going to get hurt. As I just said, if he's, if he's, he's healthy he, enough. He, he, he ain't. All right, so he we disagree. Himself, he put himself through a lot, man. Like that match he had with the, with the other people. There, he put himself through a lot, brother. You've never been in a dressing room and watched him get dressed. Correct. I have. Well, I have the... You don't know his pain. I do. I have a good idea. Lot I've never fear. physically yeah. seen it, but Paul Bear and I. All wrestlers carry a lot of pain, especially sure. one that's been beaten up. That man, that, he don't. He paid his due. And you don't see many big guys go as long as he no. is. He, no. He's a fifty-five-year-old he man. He paid his due. It's time for him to come out of there while he's still healthy. Y'all want to? Y'all want him to retire when he can't freaking walk? Oh, wait, time for you to retire now. Take your old crooked ass out of here. Yeah, that's what you want. Yeah. I think he would have been best served to have had his retirement match several years ago. But that's a different story for a different Oh, yeah. Time. I think he should have been retired years ago. Yeah. I think he... I think uh, uh, The Atlas... Wait a minute. Is that yeah. the uh, the spirit of the Undertaker opening your, yeah, your, your, your door? <laughs> for when the pit bulls come in Oh, here. that's just what we need. Imagine we got that. A lot, we got a lot of
this is Mick Foley. This is Harley Race. This is Shelton Benjamin. This is Mr. Wonderful Paul Lorndorf. This is the Monster Abyss. And this is Daniel Bryan. This is JBL, and you're watching the MWF. Be there live.